A West Seattle smoke shop targeted again in a smash and grab crime for the seventh time. Uh, we have been tracking this all morning. King Fives Anjali is there now live this morning outside the shop. Sounds like you just spoke with the owner, Anjali. How are things looking? Not good, Jake. He tells me he's not doing that well this morning because this is the seventh time in just the last month that a smash and grab like this happened uh, to his store. Now, if you take a look behind me, you can see just how bad the damage is. I'm told about $10,000 worth of damage uh, this morning. But again, seventh time this has happened in just the month last month. The owner tells me it actually hadn't been a problem. The store has been here for about uh, four years. He's had this shop and it wasn't a problem again until last month. Since then, it seems like thieves have just been ramping up. They were man they manage every single time they hit the store here uh, to get uh, to steal merchandise. Again, this morning was ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. Take a look at your screen right now for some surveillance that was captured by video cameras inside the store. We know uh, six people. It looks like the owner tells us uh, th that were total that were part of this crime here. Four were inside, two in the car. Again, the store was here for four years. The owner says he hasn't had something like this happen again until last month. Now he says he's looking into hiring security or other solutions back out here live. You can see a lot of the damage here. Uh, a sign here that was meant for uh, parking for customers is now on the ground. This was boarded up yesterday morning when thieves managed to get inside yesterday morning. Again, the boards are back up. The owner was just here kind of uh, drilling a little bit, trying to fix what's you know sort of left of his storefront here. And he does. He is saying that he's now looking into other solutions. Like I said, uh, hiring additional securities as these types of smash and grabs tend to happen in the early Early mornings between 2 to 5 a.m. That's when he's asking Seattle police for more patrol to ask more cars driving by uh, in the area so that businesses don't have to suffer crimes like this and merchandise stolen. Again, in $10,000 amount just this morning alone. But we're going to continue to follow this story and bring you the latest here uh, on King 5. But for now, reporting live in Seattle, Angelique Hockaday, King 5 News. It has to be frustrating for that owner indeed. Angelique, thank you. And